All right, well, the feds are stepping in on the Colorado River cutbacks after the basin states failed to come to an agreement. And today, the Bureau of Reclamation released a draft analysis on three different options. And Jaywon Jung is at Hoover Dam to explain the impacts of each one to Southern Nevada. If you take a look here behind me, it's a stark visual reminder of the ongoing drought crisis in the western United States. On Tuesday, the Bureau of Reclamation released three mitigation plans designed to protect the Colorado River and equitably distribute its water supply. Secretary of the Interior Department. Federal leaders offered a water use analysis for states using the Colorado River as the drought crisis worsens. On Tuesday, the Bureau of Reclamation outlining three options. The first option is a do-nothing approach not seriously being considered, but offered to emphasize the dire need for more water cuts. The second option calls for major western cities like Las Vegas to suffer the biggest water cuts if Lake Mead water levels drop further. The final option distributes the water supply equally to all users. Southern Nevada Water Authority General Manager John Ensminger did not endorse one of the options, but he did say our early conservation efforts won't leave us dry. Our infrastructure with our conservation uh, that has led the world in urban water conservation, I believe Southern Nevada is going to be safe under any circumstances. The feds want the public to weigh in on the plan. They want an inclusive and transparent process for everyone. The public is asked to review the three options and provide input from April 14th until May 30th. The outcome is expected this summer. Reporting at the Hoover Dam, I'm Jay Wan Jung. Nevada leaders also speaking up on the federal announcement on interim operating guidelines for water conservation. Representative Dina Titus, a member of the bipartisan Colorado River Caucus, releasing a statement saying the Colorado River Basin's rapidly changing conditions have highlighted the need to update how water users in the region consume this valuable natural resource. That need compels all seven basin states to meet the realities of the West's ongoing drought a process that may well involve difficult decisions. And Governor Joe Lombardo saying Nevada has long been a leader in urban water efficiency and our communities and citizens have a strong water conservation ethic. This is an important step in a multi-phase process to protect Lake Mead and put the Colorado River system on a more sustainable trajectory.